MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Chicago Cubs and the St. Louis Cardinals. Chris Bryant attempts to climb the National League batting leaderboard next. Carlos Martinez, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, five full innings for this guy in his last one. You couldn't really consider that a powerhouse outing. He was able to get a no decision, but I'm sure he and the team are looking for a lot more in this one today. And that brings up Javi Baez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Dan Dero, we take a look at this Cardinals ball club as they enter play this afternoon. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, this is a big one here, Matty. You know what, Dero? They're about to head on a nine-game roadie. One thing they'd like to do, get on that plane feeling good about themselves and salvage the last game of this series. Yeah, Dan, they need to find a way to win this one today. Get on the flight. Makes everybody's dinner taste better. Nine-game road trip coming up. A lot of packing involved, a lot of grinding on the road. They need to find a way to win this last one at home. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man has gone on strikes to start the afternoon. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's that just been completely lost the right at the plate, field. flailing all Beat over them. the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. So now to the plate, Jason Hayward. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. The two two. Gets him looking up around the letters. The main job of the number one and two headers is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. At the plate now, Chris Bryant into the corner and slicing foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. It's the Cubs nothing. Cards coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Tyler Chatwood is on the mound for the Cubs in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, if he were getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately, in his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Here's Colton Wong now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 3-2 pitch. fouled away A payoff pitch one more time drilled to the right side and this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single hey you want to be the team on the attack without question in the bottom of the first starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going Here's Dexter Fowler now, and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. A 1 1. A ball and two strikes now. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. 
And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Following balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Hey, d -Row, one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes because if they elevate, good chance Carl Dixon's punching your ticket. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And Fowler swings and misses as he's retired for round number one. Now at the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. First at bat for him as he enters play number three in the National League batting race. One of the best hitters in baseball, and he does it with some damage, too. Lots of extra base hits. He's in the top five in the league in slugging percentage as well. The 1-1 one -one home. No. Dan Dero, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon, come and trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Hey, thanks, Matty. This is a big one here, Dero. They've won two of the first three of this series. This swing game here, you'd like to win three out of four. I know that you're at this point, but boy, a split certainly would not be good for this ball club right now. Yeah, Dan, to win the first two games, all right, you can live with dropping the third game of the set, but you don't want to end this 2-2. You work too hard early to not win this series. And a full count to Paul Goldschmidt, three balls and two strikes. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting four. The third baseman, Matt. And now the Cardinals number four hitter Matt Carpenter as we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July Wong leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning hit in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Ready with the one and two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. A runner on first with two away. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Cards leave one, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. His head to head numbers against Carlos Martinez. He carries a batting average of 389. He's taken him deep once, fouled off. The one two fouled away. The one two hard on the ground towards short. De Young fields it cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Four. The first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo stands in now and there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. And the pitch. A good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. A swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Standing in now, Kyle Schwarber. 
can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. No score here as we play inning number two. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. And he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Smoked on the ground up the middle and a base hit the first of the game for the Cubs. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. To the plate now, Ian Happ. Oh. Trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. The 2-2. And it's fouled away. Just staying alive. Putting together a really good at-bat here. The 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Stepping in now, Yadier Molina. Two balls and a strike to Molina. Bottom of the second here with no score. left side a diving try but he can't haul it in it's through for a base hit uh, that's got to be frustrating for the pitcher right there he's well aware of who's having great seasons and who's having the tough seasons at the plate for the opposition this guy put him in the tough season bucket and he just gave up a knock to him. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Ooh, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Number 14 on the season as the Redbirds have taken a two-to-nothing lead.
the sound of that one off the bat. That was going a long way. Into the box, Lane Thomas. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Down the first baseline. Rizzo is there, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Carlos Martinez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Bases are empty here with two men out. Cardinals pitcher up there with a one and two count. And he fouls this one off. Heading out towards shallow right. Hayward has a read on it. And that's the third out. But the cards do strike for two, both coming on this two-run dinger. We've played two. It's now 2-0 St. Louis. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. One one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. I got three and two. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Hey, nice A-B right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. In now, Tyler Chatwood. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. One there, and the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. So in now for Chicago, Javier Baez. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Runners on first with one down. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Count even at two and two. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box now, Jason Hayward. And that's upstairs, running the count to three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. Throw comes back in quickly, holding the lead runner at third, but the batter was able to hustle up to second with two away. 
That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. At the plate now, Chris Bryant. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Second and third, two away. Hit hard on the ground to short. On to first, and the Cubs squander what looked like a good opportunity as that ends the inning. Cubs strand a couple. They're down two to nothing. Welcome back to Bush Stadium as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Thank you, Heidi. Now in the box, Colton Wong. He singled his last time up. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Counts even at 2-2 two and two to Wong. Hops this one up. And he'll reach first safely. And that's in there. Base hit. Already two hits in the ball game as he's on base here in the home third. And as we take a look there at the Cards team leaders in that category, he's currently second best on the St. Louis roster. To the plate now, Dexter Fowler fouled off. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. On the ground for Kipnis, this could be two. To second for one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get them both. Boy, that's about as easy as it comes. A chopper, two hopper, turns into a tailor made 4 6 3 double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. The 1-1 one -one is strike two swinging. Two out, nobody on. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Full count still. Line drive to left. Schwarber is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Nothing doing there for St. Louis, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. So here's the cleanup hitter, Wilson Contreras. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by. And that is through into right field for a single. Now batting the first baseman, Anthony Rupo. So now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo. This is hit the other way out toward left field. O'Neill waits on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Kyle Schwarber. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. 
looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Kyle Schwarber sent packing for the second out of the inning. Into the box, Ian Happ. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Cubs strand one. They trail it here, two to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the sweet swinging Matt Carpenter. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. Swing, and oh my, hit him with the high and out of here and I mean by plenty that ball was crushed a solo shot here to straight away right field 24 home runs for him on the season and the Cardinals lead it now three to nothing As we take a look at it on replay, you can see this thing was gone from the second it left his bat. A thunderous shot that dang near gave the pitcher a little whiplash. Challenged him with a fastball and lost big time. Standing in now, Paul DeYoung. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Three runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it one gone some guys with big arms like this They're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern But that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees Good luck hitting that one Stepping in now Yadier Molina and this will miss down low in the dirt So he's worked it full now at three and two Tyler O'Neill is on deck Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. In comes the center fielder. He can't get to it. This one's down. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft yeah, contact is finding holes there. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Into the box now, Tyler O'Neill. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Line towards center field. Half is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The center fielder, number 35, Way Thomas. Into the box now, Lane Thomas. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1 1 home. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Three and one now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. And the 3-1. 
and this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Here comes the Chicago skipper now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance. Trevor McGill answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. McGill. Carlos Martinez will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Hit down the line at first. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Hayward on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Cards get a run courtesy of Matt Carpenter. We played four. It's now a 3 nothing lead for St. Louis. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Fouled away. Another full count pitch home. Swing and a line drive. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, these guys have had a hard time making contact okay. all game long, racking up a bunch of K, so that's their first walk of the game. We'll see if that gets them going a bit. And now the Cubs pitcher, Trevor McGill, first at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. Now look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. The 2-2. Yeah, now you've got a guy up there trying to give you an out by bunting. So the last thing you want to do is waste pitches and maybe put yourself in a situation where you could walk him. Bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay one down. There's one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So a runner on first with one out now. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. Now the 2-1. Three balls, one strike. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. No runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. 
Fastball in there, three and two. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. This is popped up. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know, it's funny. The first two strikes are for the fans. You're trying to put balls in the seats right there. With two strikes, it's for the team. you got to shorten up and find a way. And that's exactly what he did right there. Soft liner into right field for a base hit. Genesis Cabrera takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. At the plate now, Jason Hayward. The count now at two and two. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Fowler. And oh no, it's off his glove. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. At the plate, Chris Bryant. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. The one two is laid off for ball two. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here now the 2 2. You got a full count. Wilson Contreras waits on deck. Here comes the payoff pitch. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? DeYoung's got it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So stepping in, Wilson Contreras, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. And an off-speed hit swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Two hits in the inning lead to a run for Chicago. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Cardinals three and the Cubs one. Here's the second baseman Colton Wong. Two hits and two trips more him thus far. To short. There's Baez. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now that at the plate, the Dexter right Fowler, 0 for 2 Fowler. here to start the afternoon. Fowler. Here's the one and one delivery. Both teams with six hits so far. And it's fouled away. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. A man at second with one down, and that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. He 
set and the 2 2 pitch pulls this one in the air out to left left fielder giving chase he gets there and that's the second out. Man at second here with two away. And that brings up Matt Carpenter. The last at that, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. One left for the Cardinals, and it's still three to one. New inning set to get underway, and into bat next, the left handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The one two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The two two one more time. Hard on the ground towards short. DeYoung gathers it in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now that, the, the next hub up, Kyle Schwarber. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Line to short but gobbled up there and there are two away. Now batting the center fielder Ian Happ. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The 3 2 pitch. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get in the chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. So it's a runner at first with two men out and standing in now the power hitting second baseman Jason Kipnis. Two out with the man at first. That's lifted the other way out to left. O'Neill waits on it. And that's the third out. One left for the Cubs. Score holds it's three to one. for the last half of the inning and that'll bring in the Illinois State product Paul DeYoung. The 2 1 home. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Schwarber arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Yanni Molina digging in now. It was a single for him in his last at bat. One out, nobody on. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Molina is retired, two down now. How about it? Tyler O'Neill will dig in again, and as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. Good, 
And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. And another foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Cardinals, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Nico Horner is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Nico Horner. To the left side, but it's well foul. The one two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Fouled off. Hit back up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. You know, D-Roll, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. Into the box, Javier Baez. Count is one and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Popped him up. Goldschmidt in foul ground. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Now that so that'll bring up Jason Hayward. So far two for three in this one. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing three to one our score. Hit on the ground is short. DeYoung fields it cleanly. On to first, it's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. Cubs are down quietly, and it remains a 3 1 ball game. Kyle Ryan gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Kyle Ryan. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in the outfielder, Lane Thomas. A ball and two strikes. Ryan is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. hit in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball the one two fouled away the next one two pitch high in the air out towards shallow right therefore it is Hayward now one away Jairo Munoz will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Munoz, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He's in his third season as a major league player. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Kipnis ranging into the outfield. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. 
Boy, he showed some pretty good range, heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Colton Wong will stand in. He's two for three and looking for more here. And the 2-1. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3-2. and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Payoff pitch one more time. And that's low ball four. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder Dexter Fowler. The 1-1 home. It's the outside corner for the second strike. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get-me-over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. The one-two. Into center field, line drive, base hit. Now that the first baseman. So now to the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The 2-1 home. There's a fastball that misses. Got a good spot to be in right now. A pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed three and two. Smoke toward the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. So digging in now, Matt Carpenter. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Line hard. But this will be a foul ball. The set. And the one-two. Ground ball right side. On to first. And the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Three left for St. Louis as the lead remains three to one. Jordan Hicks has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 12. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. Though we've discussed his position in the batting race, we haven't seen much production today. Opposing pitching has to be credited in keeping his bat in check. Yeah, they've definitely kept him off balance, but as hot a first half as he's had, it only takes one pitch over the heart of the plate for him to get right back on that wagon again. Two and one to count. Now here it comes. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. 
set. Here's the 3 1. Ground ball foul down the left side. Hit hard up the middle. On to first, and that's an important first out to start the eighth here. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. The first baseman, number 44, Anthony Rizzo. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul sent in the air out to straightaway central Thomas is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first so it's a runner at first with two men out and next it'll be the left handed power threat Kyle Schwarber Hit hard to the right side. Goldschmidt will take this to the bag himself, and with that, the inning comes to a close. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. Cards lead it three to one. Alec Mills on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 30, Alec Mills. At the plate, Paul DeYoung. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. A 1 1. Mills, a native of Tennessee. He was taken in the 22nd round during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Pitch home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Schwarber is there and he makes the catch for the out. The next to bat for St. Louis, Yadier Molina. So far, two for three in this one. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And this pitch misses for a ball. Two and one now to Molina. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Hayward has a read on it. Two gone. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Tyler O'Neill has got a hit in three at bats to this point. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. 
Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Now the three and two pitch. There's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. One, two, three go the Cardinals. And it's still three to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Giovanni Gallegos comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot, number 65, Giovanni Gallegos. All set for the start of the inning, and coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. Looks like a tall order trying to tie or take the lead against this guy who leads the league in saves. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. Good pass at that ball just a little late and now the counts full. The three two pitch. Struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look now at league saves leaders game. entering play. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. One out, nobody on. They'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And that's going to be high two and two now. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Victor 43,975 fans on their feet now here in St. Louis. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the season, and he's proven to be as reliable as anyone in the game. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. St. Louis took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Genesis Cabrera earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Tyler Chatwood couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Giovanni Gallegos strikes out the side to record the save, his league-leading 35th of the season. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Cubs, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base.
time of the ball game, two hours and 37 minutes. 